I seek refuge in Allah from Satan, the expelled from his mercy. Certainly has Allah heard the speech of the one who argues with you, O Muhammad, concerning her husband and directs her complaint to Allah. And Allah hears your dialogue. Indeed, Allah is hearing and seeing. Those who pronounce dihar among you to separate from their wives, they are not consequently their mothers. Their mothers are none but those who gave birth to them. And indeed, they are saying an objectionable statement and a falsehood. But indeed, Allah is pardoning and forgiving. And those who pronounce dihar from their wives and then wish to go back on what they said, then there must be the freeing of a slave before they touch one another. That is what you are admonished thereby, and Allah is acquainted with what you do. And he who does not find a slave, then a fast for two months consecutively before they touch one another. And he who is unable, then the feeding of sixty poor persons. That is for you to believe completely in Allah and his messenger, and those are the limits set by Allah, and for the disbelievers is a painful punishment. Indeed, those who oppose Allah and his messenger are abased as those before them were abased, and we have certainly sent down verses of clear evidence, and for the disbelievers is a humiliating punishment. On the day when Allah will resurrect them all and inform them of what they did, Allah had enumerated it while they forgot it, and Allah is, over all things, witness. Have you not considered that Allah knows what is in the heavens and what is on the earth? There is in no private conversation three, but that he is the fourth of them, nor are there five, but that he is the sixth of them, and no less than that, and no more, except that he is with them in knowledge wherever they are. Then he will inform them of what they did on the day of resurrection. Indeed, Allah is of all things knowing. Have you not considered those who were forbidden from private conversation? Then they return to that which they were forbidden and converse among themselves about sin and aggression and disobedience to the messenger. And when they come to you, they greet you with that word by which Allah does not greet you and say among themselves, why does Allah not punish us for what we say? Sufficient for them is hell, which they will enter to burn, and wretched is the destination. O you who have believed, when you converse privately, do not converse about sin and aggression and disobedience to the messenger, but converse about righteousness and piety, and fear Allah, to whom you will be gathered. Private conversation is only from Satan, that he may grieve those who have believed, but he will not harm them at all except by permission of Allah. And upon Allah let the believers rely. O you who have believed, when you are told, space yourselves in assemblies, then make space, Allah will make space for you. And when you are told, arise, then arise, Allah will raise those who have believed among you and those who were given knowledge by degrees, and Allah is acquainted with what you do. O you who have believed, when you wish to privately consult the messenger, present before your consultation a charity. That is better for you and purer. But if you find not the means, then indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. Have you feared to present before your consultation charities? Then when you do not and Allah has forgiven you, then at least establish prayer and give zakah and obey Allah and his messenger, and Allah is acquainted with what you do. Have you not considered those who make allies of a people with whom Allah has become angry? They are neither of you nor of them, and they swear to untruth while they know they are lying. Allah has prepared for them a severe punishment. Indeed, it was evil that they were doing. They took their false oaths as a cover, 
so they averted people from the way of Allah, and for them is a humiliating punishment. Never will their wealth or their children avail them against Allah at all. Those are the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. On the day Allah will resurrect them all, and they will swear to him as they swear to you, and think that they are standing on something. Unquestionably, it is they who are the liars. Satan has overcome them and made them forget the remembrance of Allah. Those are the party of Satan. Unquestionably, the party of Satan. They will be the losers. Indeed, the ones who oppose Allah and his messenger, those will be among the most humbled. Allah has written, I will surely overcome, I and my messengers. Indeed, Allah is powerful and exalted in might. You will not find a people who believe in Allah and the last day, having affection for those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even if they were their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their kindred. Those he has decreed within their hearts faith and supported them with spirit from him. And we will admit them to gardens beneath which rivers flow, wherein they abide eternally. Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. Those are the party of Allah. Unquestionably, the party of Allah, they are the successful. <laughs>